Hello hikers, we find ourselves together again here on the mat for level two mat work for your core and upper back. So we're gonna start in the dead bug. So remember to lie down and pull your core in the same way we've been doing. Find that nice contraction so your low back is flat into the ground and you're really thinking about your core the whole time. Arms up towards the ceiling, legs up to tabletop if you choose your head down or up and remember the options to keep your legs down and just move your arms or legs if that's too hard to do the full movement. So from here, opposite arm and leg, you're gonna just alternate side to side. This is a very controlled movement. So it's like you're pushing your arm and leg through molasses as you go. So you're not just letting things flop down. Think about your core the whole time and just keep the movement going. Good. Belly button in. If your head is up, make sure you're not jamming your chin down to your neck. There should be a fist distance between your chin and your neck. Good, keep it going. Don't lose position. You've got this. Let's do three more on each side. Make sure you're breathing too. It's easy to hold, hold your breath while you're doing core work. Good, and slowly lower. Come on to one side. We're gonna go into side planks with the rotation, either knees or into the full side plank position as I'm gonna do. So go ahead and raise up, lift through your hip, through your shoulder, arms straight up in the air, and let's dive under, give a little pop to the hip, and back, and just keep rotating like this. Remember, you can absolutely be on your knees for this, one knee, both knees down, whatever you choose. And if you need to make it harder, by all means, grab a little weight. Three or five pounds will do. Two more. And one more. Perfect, slowly lower down. Switch over to the other side. Okay, find the plank that works for you. Get into position nice and stable before you start the movement. You can practice exhaling on the way down and inhaling on the way back if you need something to think about to make sure you're breathing. Go for three more. Make the last one as strong as the first. Perfect. Lower down slowly. Now you're going to find yourself on your hands and knees for the hip car movement next. If you need to put something under your knees for cushion, please grab that and then Make sure you're not scrunching up with, through your shoulders. Everything's engaged through your core, through the shoulder blades. The movement is isolated to the hip. I'm gonna start on my left side and we're gonna go up, out, around, and down. Switch directions, out, up, and in. Move just from the hip, very controlled, Everything else in your body should be engaged to keep very still. Good. And your range of motion might look different than mine. That is totally normal. Everybody's hips have a different available range of motion. You work what you have with what you have. We're gonna go two more in each direction. And this is another one where you're creating your own resistance. So it's like you're pushing through something thick. And one more. 
and switch it up. And you're gonna probably notice the second side's a little bit harder, partially because you work that leg as it's balancing. And it's a lot of effort to keep everything really still as you do this very isolated movement. So stay with it the whole time. And this will help your hips be stronger and more mobile when you're hiking. And one more. Excellent. Okay, the next one you're gonna do is your plank with the arm lift row. So you can either be on your knees in a plank this way or in a full, uh, full plank on your arms. So let's go ahead and get into position. Feet a decent distance apart for stability. Shoulder blades engaged, core engaged, glutes engaged. And let's go ahead and slowly row one arm at a time up towards your chest. Good. Alternate side to side. And it takes a lot of stability to not rock your hips. Be sure not to let your shoulders shrug as you lift. Shoulder blades just coming in a little bit towards that spine. Two more on each side. Perfect. Drop your knees. Give yourself a little stretch if you need and then come on down to your stomach. Okay, and this one we're gonna do our superheroes, so ah, you can feel nice and powerful when you do this. Let's go ahead and keep your feet as close together as you can. They're not gonna go right together, that's okay. You'll squeeze your glutes and you're gonna lift up so your legs come off the ground and your upper back comes off the ground at the same time. And remember to relax your shoulders, and then we're going to bring your arms into that W motion. So here we go. Let's lift, pull down, elbows in, and up. Good. There you go. We're going to do 10 pulls, and then take a little break. Get that really good, strong squeeze at the bottom. Squeeze your tush. And keep your neck long in the back so you're not looking up in front of you. One more. Good. Come on down. Now this time we're going to just go up and down. No W motion. So your arms are going to stay in that V. And we're going to raise and lower for 10. Good. Keep your legs long. And one more. Good. You can have a nice strong back so you can put that extra snack in your pack and you'll be able to have enough strength to hold it there. All right, that was your first circuit. Take a breather, grab some water if you need to, and then we're gonna go do that whole thing one more time. So start on your back. Dead bugs are your first one. Arms up, knees up. Head and shoulders off the mat, and let's go opposite side. Good, alternate. We're gonna keep moving this time through each exercise. Low back flat, nice and stable. Check yourself every few reps. Couple more here. And let's go one more on each side, nice and strong. And then flip it onto your side. 
So side planks in your chosen position with rotation. Go ahead up. Nice and strong through your arm, hip up, and let's dive under and back up to complete the rotation. We've got 10 of these. This is three. If you want that challenge, grab the weight and absolutely put your knee down if you need to, or both knees down, or take a break if you need to, that's fine too. A couple more. Nice and strong through the obliques on this one, your side abdominal muscles. And let's switch it up to the other side. Get your good position first before you start the rotation. Make sure everything feels strong and stable. And then let's go for 10. Remember to breathe. Exhale, on the way down. One more. Perfect. Okay, go on your hands and knees. I'm gonna start with my right leg this time for the rotation. So I'm gonna start to the side and then to the back. Here we go, out and then reverse it. And remember, everything else is really still and engaged. Core engaged, shoulder blades, opposite leg is keeping you nice and stable. No pain, okay? So stay in your range of motion without pain. One more each way. All right, switch to the other side. Out to the side, up. And then sole to the ceiling, knee out, in, around, and down. And reverse it. It always surprises me how much these work. Check yourself, make sure you're stable everywhere else. And then one more each way, good. Control the whole way through. Don't stop early, almost there. Great, okay. Plank with rows, so either knee plank or regular tall plank, whichever you choose. And let's get into position. Quads, glutes, core tight, shoulders engaged. And let's go ahead and control, lift on each side, alternating. That nice shoulder blade squeeze at the top of the row. Hips nice and still. Keep the butt engaged. Neck nice and long. One more. Perfect. All right. Take a little, little stretch back and then go ahead onto your stomach. And we're gonna lift and do our W squeezes for 10 and then 10 lifts and then you're out of here. Ready? Squeeze your butt, relax your shoulders, arms up, elbows in. A good strong squeeze of those back muscles as your elbows come down. Your neck's long. Keep your tush engaged. Okay, good. 
Go ahead and lie flat in 10 lifts. Here we go. Gonna keep your legs long, your arms long. You got three more. This is your superhero moment. And last one. Woo! All right, team. You did it. Nice job. All right. Come back to this workout one more time this week and try to complete it twice a week for the next four or five weeks. And I will see you next time. And I will see you for level three. Thanks so much.